I'm Jason Roselle. You're watching Get Inspired with Jason. Hey, my name is Jason Roselle, and I am here today with the one and only Maria Roselle. Ring a bell? <laughs> well, my mom Maria has been a living life inspiration since I was very young. She has proven not only to myself, to herself, that she can overcome anything from being living in po poverty, living in not the best conditions, but to really being a goal setter and just rocking it out. I introduce you, Maria. How are you, honey? I'm very good, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, I, I chose to interview you, well, one, because it was more convenient. <laughs> just Let's just be honest. Uh, no, but, uh, but uh, I, I, I highlight uh, when you guys ask me who inspires you, who really takes you to a place that you can say, hey, you know what, like, I, I want to share it to the world. So I want to start off, uh, my mom, uh, she didn't get the privilege of, you know, coming from a rich family or nothing like that, but she was able to retire at the age of 35. Not many people can say they do that. Um, what would you say, what would be the top three things you would tell someone on how to be able to conquer anything you're going through, whether you're in the lowest moments or just really about to give it up? Basically, just believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. And you, you have to say, dear God, put me through everything that I have to do to reach my goals. And you have to be positive. Yeah. Just to make it sure, remember when I had the cancer? Yeah. Um, She's a I breast cancer survivor. Survivor, yeah. yeah. And um, I went to the doctors, not only one, two, three. I went to the fourth one. And finally, they came up with a new way of doing it. And make a long story short, he took a gamble on me. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm so positive. Being positive. But what gives you being positive? You have to believe. And when you believe in our bigger source, which is God... And you put your faith and you say, hey, you know what? Give me the strength yes. to go through this. But you, I mean, God's not going to do everything for you. You've got to put your part. He gives you the tools. Absolutely. But then you have to take those beautiful tools that are handed down to you. Hey, excuse me a minute. You have hands. That's you right. have your eyesight. You have your mouth. You have your ears. You're so blessed. Every morning I get up, I said, oh, thank you, dear Lord, for letting me live a full life. And when you see somebody who doesn't is not as lucky as you, you say, I am so lucky. And that's what keeps me going. And that's why I brought you up, explaining to you and showing you and taking you to children who were not as fortunate as you. We might not have a lot of money. We might not have a lot of food. But guess what? As long as I cook, and even if it's chicken, you know, those big ones, it was only $4. <laughs> So I used to, I learned how to do chicken in a hundred different She's ways. A, you're a doer. So, 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 doer. so to tell the audience, cause you know, a lot of times they, they're right now, everyone's connecting with you, right? And they're saying, oh my God. But a lot of times, and I say this because as you guys know, besides being a TV personality host, a lot of times when people say, well, how did you become a life coach, a relationship coach? I do a lot. But they're saying, well, I'm not as blessed as you, right? And a lot of times they look at you and be like, oh, well, she beat cancer or right? she beat you know, the fact that she was living in poverty. She didn't beat it. She made a choice. Am I right? Oh, my so God, So yeah. we all have a choice we have to make. And she said something very important and, and something as a trainer, too, that I tell people, you got to want it, right? Yes. And you could be given the tools from the higher powers, which is Lord Jesus Christ, and, and, and know, like, oh, my God, I'm given this opportunity, but you got to take it and do something with it. Absolutely. Right? It's kind of like saying, you know, I want a boat, right? And God brings down uh, like a miracle. You have all the tools and you're like, oh, wait, I have to put in work. Yes, you got to put in the work, yeah. right? So, <laughs> if you don't put in the work, you're going to have nothing. So, so absolutely. So to recap the three things, number one, stay positive. Absolutely. Be positive. Yes. Uh, two, you said. Work hard. Work hard. And three, have an amazing attitude, right? Yes. Right. Attitude is everything. You know, uh, it's so funny. I, I, in life, sometimes uh, I had a mentor once tell me, 
It's not what you say, it's how you say, say it. it. Yeah. That can change everything. So always remember uh, in life, it's all about what you're putting out, you're gonna get back. And just remember, if something is not going accordingly or someone's giving you bad energy, know that that's a reflection on them, not on you. Exactly. So if someone cuts you off while you're driving, your ego is like saying, hey, hey you know, yeah. but you're saying, you know what? They're not, they're maybe not blessed at this moment, but I send them my best wishes. Exactly. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mm -hmm. I You're love welcome. you. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and I'll see you for the next shoot. And I am the one. Jason Roselle, I'll see you soon. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.